So inspired by Coach Doug Duggerton or Gus Duggerton or just Coach Duggs, our draft today is teams we would have liked to coach for a year. And it's units, not the whole team, just the units. So, Big Cat, I've got the trivia question for you. If you get it right, you get the first pick. Here we go. Uh, the 85 Bears beat the Patriots 46-10 to in Super Bowl Twenty. Did the Patriots offense have more turnovers or rushing yards in the game? More turnovers. Oh, no. Trick question. Seven rushing yards, six turnovers. It was close. Oh, that is a it trick question. Six, six turnovers, by the way. Uh, get on my level. I, I had seven picks the, last night. Get on my level. And Super Bowl, Super Bowl 20 is the prime example, and I think we've talked about this before, of what happens when – you root for disruption in the playoffs and you get disruption to the Super Bowl because it should have been Dolphins Bears rematch, the only team that beat the Bears all year, Dan Marino and company on a Monday night in December, but the Patriots beat the Dolphins. And I was all in on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the underdog win. It's like, oh crap, the underdog's gonna get stomped now by the Bears. All right. I hate to take the 85 Bears. You, you have to. I hate you have to. to. You have I to. have to take the 85 Bears. All right, you I take to. the 85 Bears. Simply because you didn't know enough 85 Bears trivia, I get the 85 the, Bears. Give me the 85 Bears. Best I defense of all a, time. I should have known it was a trick question. I should have known it was a trick question. Um, yeah, you have to. This is almost like the 85 Bears draft. Uh, but I'm going a different route for my my picks here, Mike. I'm going to go with units because we're, 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 we're picking units, not teams, correct? So you're taking the 85 Bears defense. I'm going correct. to take units where as a coach my job is as easy as possible because you have a transcendent talent that makes everything else easy so i will start with the 86 giants lawrence taylor helping out and basically being like hey you go do whatever you want you'll make everyone else's job easy go have it. so are you saying that it's the entire Giants' defense, but you're influenced defense, to take yeah. the defense because of Lawrence Taylor. All right, I got I'm, I'm that talking makes about sense. making that makes my sense. job making my job as easy as possible when you have a transcendent talent on the unit. All right, well, there was a transcendent talent on the 98 Vikings offense, and his name was Dang. Randy Moss and also Chris Carter. Why didn't you take them when you could? The 98 Vikings offense, without question. That offense was so good, and Randy Moss was so dominant as a rookie. Anybody could have stood back there and thrown the ball deep and would have thrown 30 touchdown passes or more. Moss had 17, I believe, as a rookie. That was a special, special offense, and that's one where you're just on autopilot. Just go let the great players play great, and you're going to win games, And but for Gary Anderson, you're going to go to the Super Bowl. All right, so I will, uh, I'll stay on the offensive side of the ball. I'll just take the greatest uh, show on turf because that was a truly transcendent offense. Randy Moss was obviously incredible, best receiver all time, but the Rams, that the way they stunned the football world, with Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce, Oz Nasir, uh, Hakeem, Ricky Prohl, Kurt Warner. That's my, that is my team. That, that is my uh, offensive unit that I would coach, especially knowing Trent Green went down. Everyone cast them aside, said they were not going to be there. I'll take the Rams 2000 offense to coach that. I would be throwing the ball all over the yard, Mike. It would be incredible. I, and you're absolutely right, and I'm surprised it took that long for the greatest show-offs on turf to make it onto this draft because whoa, 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 whoa. it was special. You, it was her. Did you – was that was that on purpose? No. I, I don't know what – I said the greatest show on turf. That's not what you said. <laughs> you right. said the greatest anyway, show-offs uh, on turf. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, and they were, and they were, but they were good. Hey, it was that arena football experience for Kurt Warner, the quick drop, get rid of the ball. We thought they were done. We thought it was over. Trent Green tears his ACL in preseason. The Rams had stunk the past few years. Dick Vermeil was on his way out, and then all of a sudden they catch lightning in a bottle, and they win the Super Bowl, and Kurt Warner goes from bagging groceries at the Piggly Wiggly to being the regular season MVP and the Super Bowl MVP. I think he's the last one to do both in the same season. All right, th this is a... This is a big cat pick. I, whenever you're on for the draft, I try to come up with something that would be kind of your, your outside-the-box selection. And I'm, I'm leaving some good offenses and defenses on the board to do this, but I'm doing it. Yes, I am, as Sims would say. 2001 Patriots special teams. Because playoff Ugh. game against the Raiders, 
Well, come on. What did Adam Vinatieri do? He makes that kick in the snow. In the snow. You said coaches just sit back and let great players do great things. What do you think the special teams coach said to Adam Vinatieri? I suggest you go out and make the field goal. I mean, what else can he say? He makes it. Then he makes one in the overtime and wins that game. And then they go to Pittsburgh, and I was at that game, 2001 AFC Championship, a punt return by Troy Brown, 55-yarder, to open the scoring and bust the bubble of a Steelers team that thought they were just going to punch their ticket for a showdown with the greatest show-offs on turf, I said at that time, and and a blocked field goal return for a touchdown later in the game. And then in the Super Bowl, what was it? What was it? An Adam Vinatieri walk-off field goal to win it all. So under your definition, you said so. A unit that you just sit back and let it do its thing, the 2001 Patriots special teams delivered the championship, started the dynasty, boom, roasted. Boom roasted? Uh, you don't boom roast me. Get out of here. That's not boom roasted. I actually wanted to take the uh, original, the, the the reason behind the, the unit meme, the in all the size, he's an absolute unit uh, guy. If we can find, if Matt Casey can go find that, the D David Morgan Hewitt, that was where it uh, originally came from, that meme, which you don't even understand. I'm talking gibberish to you, but to everyone else, I'm making perfect sense. I will take finally, uh, I'll take the Super Bowl Bucks. I'll take the Bucks. Simeon Rice, Warren Sapp, Derek Brooks, Rondé Barber, John Lynch, just an incredible team with incredible talent. That defense was off the charts, and they had multiple guys who you could just say, go out and play. Go out and play. Go out and play. Go out and get the quarterback. I don't have to scheme anything up. You got this. And isn't it amazing the cliche goes defense wins championships and two of the all-time great defenses in NFL history, the 85 Bears and the 2002 Buccaneers, they had one championship to show for all that talent that they amassed. They should have both been dynasties. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to you. You, you were like, yeah, you were, no, you in diapers I'm, then? One, one, one. Yeah. One yeah, year so you don't care. Yes, I mean, no, you, you no, know, you know. But, but, Yo, know, you're absolutely right. Like defensive do win championships, but I mean you could even throw the Ravens in there too. An all time defense that won one title because it's tough when you don't have an offense for multiple years in a row when you don't have that quarterback. Hi, I'm Mike Tarico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.